when is it that the players return back to training? The players will be back on the 23rd of June for testing Friday, Saturday and Sunday off and then the real fun begins on the Monday. <laughs> and of course it's not all about the pre-season matches that we've, we've got planned, you know, there's a, a social aspect to it. What other plans in place are there for the team? Yeah, we're, we're probably about 90% kind of sure on, on everything we're going to be doing in, in pre-season. We have the first couple of weeks will be football conditioning where a lot of longer running, uh, slower running in terms of no real sprinting or dynamic actions where we build a foundation for the players that's going to last them for the, the next 10 months. After that, we go into the games programme where we will work a lot on our football identity and how we want to play in possession, out of possession, and then start obviously trialling that in games and, and using the games to, to work on that. And then the last couple of weeks will be that football intensity that we need and the, the speed of play that we need to, to be competitive in this league. But I think pre-season or the pre-seasons I've known, you, you always focus on physical, obviously, and, and tactical. But for me, there's a real social and, and psychological aspect throughout pre-season that we have to build. I think we have to build that team vision that, that we want next season. And that's not just me telling the players what I think, that's the players coming up you know, and owning their, their own vision and what they want uh, their team to be next season as well. So we'll do a lot of work on that. We have a trip to Penzance where we'll play Mousel, but we'll have a day surfing on the beach, which should be fun. I've never been surfing before, but we'll see how that goes. And then we'll have a lot of social time together. Uh, we're going to have a, a night in a couple of days at the Marines, where we'll, we'll obviously test the players psychologically and physically and find out in difficult moments how certain players react and, and how we want to behave as a team in those moments. And I, and I think that will be not just a, a two-day event, that will be a longer standing partnership with the Marines where we do some stuff for them and, and they continue to help us with team building, uh, building resilience, thinking correctly under pressure and things like that. So we've got a lot planned. It's, it's six weeks. It's going to be a really busy six weeks. Like I say, 90% of that is pretty much done. We have to then, over the next few weeks, myself, Kev, John Pitts, Perks, come up with a the fine detail of, of, of what that looks like. If you thought Exeter was far, you've got another thing coming with Penzance. Yeah, well, I've, <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Land's End or John O'Groats, uh, and I've never been far enough north to go to John O'Groats, but when I'm down at Penzance, I'm definitely going to get to Land's End, so that will tick that off. We've got the uh, eight matches uh, scheduled, seven of which you've announced so far, and, and obviously they're all varying challenges. We play Bristol City, we play the local sides like Tiverton, those games are so important. Early on, it's about the fitness, and then as the season, as the schedule progresses, it's about getting us ready for that first League One game. Yeah, at every club I've been at, I think it's important you play local clubs in pre-season. I think it gives them uh, a bit of money in terms of gates. Hopefully, that we get some uh, good support at those games and, and gives them uh, something back. I think that's important, but also they will be up for it playing against us. So there'll be a big challenge in terms of the competitive nature of the games. And then I think you can see the games improve gradually. The level of, of teams we play increases as the, as the pre-season gets nearer the start of the season. So, and hopefully when we announce the last game, we'll see you know a, a big game at, at SGP will be something for the supporters to, to enjoy before the season starts. But really happy with the games programme, really happy with, uh, how it incrementally increases the, the intensity for the players. And uh, I think at that moment you're, you're training under fatigue, uh, playing under fatigue. So, you know, whilst we want to win every football match and, and that will be our aim to, to create a winning mentality that the, the games are also used as part of the training programme. Over the last few months, we've seen a number of a uh, academy players sign their first professional contracts. I imagine these pre-season games is a, a fantastic chance for them to gain first team minutes as well. Yeah, I think day one is a chance for everyone to show their, how hungry they are. So they've all been given off-season programmes. We want them to come back in, in good condition, ready to, to hit the ground running. So everyone has that opportunity in press day one. And 
you know, if you're doing well and if you play well in the games, then I think I've shown in the seven months that I've been here that you will stay in the team. And if you train well, that is a big opportunity for you to get in the team. So hopefully everyone comes back with a, you know, feel like they're on a clean slate and, and they're ready to attack the season. We've of course got that match at SJP, as you touched on, against a brilliant opponent, TBC. Um, how important will that game be? We're about fine-tuning before that, before that first game? Yeah, I always think the last game's, you know, a kind of game before the season where you can really test what, what you think your team might be, what you know you've done in pre-season. Can you can you do that against a really high opposition and and, and challenge yourself? I think to have it here is really important. Hopefully there's there's new signings that, that can experience SJP uh, before the, the first game of the season here. So uh yeah, really looking forward to that. I think it was a big thing for me. A lot of people had said we, we haven't had a game here before the start of the season for a while. So that was high on my list to make sure we, we had really good opposition here from hopefully a very high league. Uh, and we'll look forward to that game when it comes around. And finally, as we can see just behind us, the, the pitch renovations are in full flow. Chaz is, is working his magic again and, and says it'll be even better than it was last season. Yeah, it scares me a little bit when I've I seen a magnificent green pitch there and now it's brown dirt. Uh, but I trust Chaz and his uh, expertise. So uh, the pitches at the training ground are coming along. You can see the, the green grass starting to come up and uh, he assures me here in three or four weeks this will be the same. And yeah, fantastic from the club as well. The, the finances, this doesn't happen you know, easily. It costs a lot of money. Uh, and it needs a lot of support from the club. So I thank them again for what they've done at the training ground. And obviously here again, if we can get you know a, a pitch like we had last year, then it, then it's a huge bonus for us.